Should I put my hand in there? No! Just for no! Like an experiment. No, Lissy, no! This is scary. I can see where this is already a hazard. Holy crap! Oh! oh! channel it's a girl Lissy and today I am coming back with another deadly banned kids toys that shouldn't exist and yes today I may or may not have bought more of these deadly toys that shouldn't exist as you guys know I made a video previously about this and I had a doll literally eat off my hair what if I can't get my hair back <gasps> my hair it's ripping oh. <laughs> Today I purchased more of the most deadliest band kids toys that have ever been sold on the market and have record breaking injuries for you guys to demonstrate them for educational purposes. Do not try this at home. And uh, we're also gonna be talking about some of the other toys that should have never been able to be sold. If you guys are excited, be sure to smash the like and subscribe to the family. I post weird videos about the strange, the unusual, and the creepy every single week and I don't want you guys to miss out on it. But let's get talking about these toys and why they're banned and deadly and cursed. Since these toys are banned and deadly and not allowed. I did have to order this off of eBay because no, they do not currently make this anymore. This first one we're talking about is the Easy Bake Oven. If you don't know what this is, you did not have a childhood. Easy Bake Oven was a toy designed and aimed and targeted towards young girls to teach them how to cook. It enabled kids to make their own bake confections, including cakes, cookies, and pretzels. While its appearance, functionality, and available baking mixes have changed over the years, the Easy Bake Oven remains an iconic toy that all kids love. The first Easy Bake Oven hit store shelves in November of 1963, just before the holiday shopping season. According to Good Housekeeping, the original Easy Bake Oven used an incandescent light bulb to heat food up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which if you're letting a kid play with a light bulb that almost gets to 400 degrees, you can already put the two together. It's not going to end well. It sold 500,000 units in that first year at a price of $15.95, which is over $100 adjusted to today's inflation. That is one expensive toy, especially back then. At the time, Easy Bake Ovens came with five miniature boxes of baking mixes. And of course, they sold separate ones on the side that you get if you want to bake other things. And according to Hasbro, more than 30 million Easy Bake Ovens have been sold since they hit the shelves, which is a lot. Between February and July of 2007, there were over 249 reports of children who have had their hands or fingers stuck inside of Easy Bake Ovens and got second or third degree burn just from this tiny plastic toy. In one case, a five-year-old girl had to have her finger partially amputated just from playing with her Easy Bake Oven. As a result, the company stopped offering the kit and simply recalled the Easy Bake Ovens off the shelves immediately because kids were getting burnt and hurt left and right. In conclusion, having one little light bulb inside of this oven that got up to almost 400 degrees that kids were able to bake little cakes with was not a good idea. Who was literally just gonna give a five-year-old a full-blown cooking oven and be like, here, go make a cake. Mm-mm, that's not gonna end well. So we're gonna see how hot this oven really gets and we're gonna put this thing to some cooking tests. Okay, so right in front what of What is me that? Is it Easy bake oven. An easy bake oven? <laughs> this could be you, Alex. That girl's probably dead now. <laughs> Because that thing's so <laughs> old. What do you think she's thinking right now? If she had a voice, what would it be? Let's make cake. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make that? I mean, I have Dunkaroo Rainbow <gasps> Mix. Because oh! I don't have the, the cake mix. They're expired. I would die eating that. But I do have the Easy Bake Oven. What did it come with? You might be wondering. It came with a spatula. Spatula. It came with little pans. Oh, wait. This is kind of cute. <gasps> That's so tiny. Oh, look how small it it's is. so small. It looks used though. It looks like it's been there, done that. It probably has diseases. Ew! Look at this one. <gasps> what is that? Ew! Whoa. Who used this before? It's crusty and dusty. They didn't like, wash it before mm -hmm. selling it. I think this is the top ring you put on your oven. What if it's broken? Like me? <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Okay, this is the big boy herself. This is the main problematic piece of the oven. Whoa. I want to see how dangerous this is. I might put my hand in this oven. What? Just for fun. How hot does it get? Up to 350 degrees. What? See that red light in the back? That's like literally the light bulb that got recalled. Oh my god. It's like on looks, fire almost. Yeah. And children were playing with it. So inside of here, take a look inside. See how it opens and closes? <gasps> they would reach in with their hands to Why get Why would they their... do that? I'm stupid. <laughs> you think a six-year-old is going to 
don't want to make a cake. Ow, when I was six, I didn't stick my hands inside the oven. That's going to burn down your house. All right, we're going to make our mix. We're pretending this is the good old Easy Bake mix, but it's it's definitely not, and that's okay. At least it's cute, and I hope it turns out, because this oven... Pretty. Yeah, oh. it does look pretty. Oven already stinks like bad. Alex, you smell <laughs> I it? I can smell it. Do not put hand inside oven and make it caught, and burns could result. Kids so the whole thing is probably hot. Should I find out? No! I wonder if this part's hot yet. Should I put my hand in there? No! Just for no! Like an experiment. No, Lizzie, no! Ooh, it's, no! It's, getting, it's getting hot. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Not yet, but I will. Not yet! I'm going to do it when it gets hotter. Oh, I'm, I'm not scared worse. for you. I'm a baker! <laughs> okay, now this is the scary part. I'm going to put the lid on it. We have our perfect easy bake cookie. I really want this to work. That's the worst part. I hope it tastes good. It better taste good. The oven stinks right now. Wait, you're not reading the instructions. Should I put my hand in here? No! <laughs> Why would you do that? No, oh, I can feel the heat. Please, everyone in the comments say no, Lizzie, no. This is a good idea. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I almost actually just burnt myself touching Careful. this. Careful. This is why kids were getting hurt. They were moving their ovens around like me being an idiot. We're gonna pop it in, so this is how it I'm goes so in. I'm so scared, okay. Ready? It's going in. Wait, the whole thing is going in. Wait, Where's the cookie go? There. Wait, she, what? She, oh, the, oh, wait. So they were probably trying to reach in there thinking like, oh, I lost my cookie, because kids don't know better. And yeah. they go in for the metal and they get the third degree burns. Because oh, look at wow. it. It's like you can't even see it anymore. It's so like you have to there. scoop it out with that? Yeah. Oh. And it feels really hot. Should I touch it? No. Lizzie. Lizzie. I'm no. Touch it once. No. <gasps> I'm scared. Shit. <laughs> Shit, that's hot. Don't touch it. Yeah. I'm literally getting a scab right here Ow. right now. Kidding. Oh. I didn't do that. It was bad acting too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A few moments later. It smells like it's done. Wait, the, the light went off. Why'd the light go off? <gasps> Wait, this feels that feels kinda no, not really. It feels a little bit warm. It smells good. And then I guess I just go like this. <gasps> Wait, is this hot? Oh! Oh! Did you get burnt? That's what I did. <laughs> that was actually me screaming because that really hurt. Don't Holy oh, shit, now that's hot. Well, I guess now we have to wait for that Don't to cool. Don't touch that. I won't Don't touch, touch it. I'm not touching it. What are you doing with cinnamon wall? Oh, I'm cinnamon I'm here to take your cookie. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Did I make a cookie? How did... Oh. <gasps> what? Oh. That's... This is beautiful. No wonder my kids are getting hurt. You can't even get it out of the pan without touching the metal and burning yourself. <laughs> get on the pan! Yay! <laughs> it doesn't Easy look like oven. much of a cookie. Taste test. Mmm. Good? Wait, it actually does cook good. <laughs> it didn't burn it. Yay! <laughs> Finger still hurts. Red right here. You guys can't really tell, but it is red. It hurts. This Just is dangerous. Don't touch it. No wonder it's banned. <laughs> So, the next toy that I got my hands on was actually a toy I never had growing up. I have it right here, and I bought it on eBay. They still sell them, but they're kind of rare to this day. I'm just gonna unbox it for you guys, and we can explain the dangers as we go. So, this right here is a Sky Dancer. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Well, actually, this is, this is like an additional thing they threw in here. Whoa, this is the Sky Dancer. It's a lot bigger than the thing I just pulled out, but. As you guys can tell, this kind of looks like a Barbie, but it has long fairy wings and it goes on top of a stand. And yes, this thing can fly. Luckily, the seller was really nice and they gave me like a tiny Sky Dancer that actually pops into a watch that you can wear on your wrist. So this is the base of the big Sky Dancer. And basically what you would do is you put your Sky Dancer inside of this base here and you pull this this is gonna be oh my god she's already spinning she's already spinning okay so you pull it just like this i'm actually scared of this toy and you let go wait nothing happened that was so anticlimactic. did i not do this right anyways what happens is she flies she skyrockets for the sky this is scary i can see where this is already a hazard holy crap oh, oh shit Okay, that's how that works. Okay, so we already are going to take our assumptions of how this is not a good idea for children, especially following the demonstration that I almost just had an accident with. Moving along, these things were banned and taken off the shelves, and I'm telling you guys why. So Sky Dancers were released in 1994. These dolls with fairy wings were a big hit. All you had to do was place them on a base and pull a cord to make them fly just like a little helicopter. Later models actually used a simple button that revved up the doll and set them flying into the air, and these toys were 
a hot hit. Little girls and little boys love them. They actually made a version for boys and a version for girls, so everybody loved these. However, over the course of six years, the toy caused over 150 injuries to adults and children, including eye injuries, scratch corneas, temporary blindness, broken teeth, a concussion, a broken rib. Do not ask me how a little plastic toy could break an entire rib. That is concerning on its own. And a facial lacturation requiring stitches. That is a big word. Basically, somebody had to get stitches from one of these things slapping them in the face. In 2000, the creator of Sky Dancers ended up recalling 8.9 million Sky Dancers and all other versions off the shelf because these things were causing injuries left and right. A lot of kids were even bringing these things to school and like using them as like little weapons to shoot at each other during class and you could already imagine how that would have went. And yeah, today you can't find them anywhere but I found one and I'm gonna be running some tests with it. I can see where this is dangerous as you guys can already tell. It winds up really fast like I'm barely pulling the cord right now and it's already it's already doing a loop but we're gonna go really hard really fast. I'm gonna aim it this way because I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to end up getting stitches in the face or a broken rib, but you know, we're gonna go in three, two, one. <gasps> I thought I almost broke my whole Sky Dancer. Okay, that didn't go as planned. We're gonna go straight up. It's like that meme where the Sky Dancer falls into the fire and then the whole house catches on fire. Why can't I do this right? You can't even control where the thing is gonna fly. It's a safety hazard in its own. <laughs> Okay, last try. Okay, I'm revving it like slowly here. It's like a little helicopter about to take off. Oh! That thing just made a dent in my ceiling. Now that I've tested the big Sky Dancer, I have the pocket size watch Sky Dancer. It's really small. It says this one is high flying. It says that on the package, high flying wrist launcher. So you could just take it to school and just launch it all your friends. Fun, quirky. Okay, so I have my very small like this is the smallest sky dancer ever look how tiny this thing is this is the sky dancer this is the watch the tutorial said put your sky dancer into the watch okay she's in the watch then it said move the watch counterclockwise so I'm twisting it up it looks like a little ballerina doing a dance and then it said to launch your sky dancer you push the button on the side except for it's not really doing anything maybe this one's not as dangerous as the bigger ones were oh wait that thing launched way more than the big one. That thing flew across the whole room. That could blind somebody. She literally flew away and I can't even find her. It went way across the room. That is dangerous.